Update. And as we hit, uh, we'll change that to 3 o'clock. Uh, we're uh, up about a little under nine, uh, nine tenths of a percent on the S&P cash, uh, 1.2 percent on the NASDAQ. We kind of eh, ran out of gas at the highs. Volume very light. And again, there aren't a lot of things going on uh, between now and Thursday evening when we have some earnings. Uh, volume right now is, uh, I'm going to say, the lightest of the year at this time. Uh, if we weren't like open, I'll have to go back and look. Were we open a half day at any point whatsoever uh, this year already? I don't think so. Certainly 6.5 billion shares uh, where we're probably looking at, at something like 14 billion, 16 billion to go up there and ring the bell and move this market higher. It certainly looks like uh, we're coming back into either a top or some consolidation through the rest of the week. As I said, not much way in the in the uh, news cycle till late in the week. Uh, as I do a lot of work on options, they all kind of point to hanging around 4,000 for Friday's close. That may put itself together with a long weekend. Uh, if you haven't looked at the calendar, uh, we only have one short week to where we get a day off. Next Monday uh, we'll be off. And so, uh, it's going to be a shorted, uh, shorted, shorted, a shortened trading week next week. But uh, I don't get a lot. We spent a lot uh, in the previous hour on the show just going through stock after stock who had a lot of volume and then nothing for the follow up today on a pop. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be sitting in for Tom O'Brien. We'll have uh, the one and only Steve Rhodes. Uh, probably holding uh, on with us after the first break, and maybe I'll talk him into uh, getting into uh, the third block uh, today, but that's kind of it. Um, light volume, um, very interesting action in the market, not much of the way of follow-up, but again, not a big signal to start uh, pulling the ripcord and uh, yelling Geronimo yet either. We'll be back in a minute and sit in for Tom O'Brien. 